Get over here! So, check this out. Now that we rested at a bench... There's another hole there. I see just that, and we are going to go ahead and check that out. How's it going, everybody? I think Great. I know what that is. Yeah, we'll have to see. The harder path? Or oh, more than likely. All right. How's it going, everybody? The Green Scorpion here. Welcome to episode 35 of Let's Play Hollow hey, Knight. Um, yep, I'm here with Patty, as usual. I did not forget about you. Don't worry. <laughs> One episode is just somebody missing. <laughs> so, I'm gonna try uh, uh, something with uh, my badges. I went ahead and went with a uh, Nail Master uh, set. Quick Slash, Mark of Pride, as well as Nail Master's Glory. So, these uh, arts uh, charge oh, up faster. Oh, they actually look like they're usable now. Yeah, they actually charge up faster uh, with... Uh, Wow, they look very usable with that. Uh-huh. Uh, the Nail Master's Glory um, increases the uh, power and decreases the charge time. So, that's actually pretty cool. I kind of feel like that that's the charge time that should have been. Damage, though, you know, different. Oopsie. Obviously, higher damage is better. Yeah. Like, a higher damage shouldn't have been given at the beginning. Oh, wow. Okay. Spikes I, everywhere. I need to figure out how to get there. Just get close to it and then drop down. All right, gonna recover real quick. Yeah, I don't have a quick focus this time, so. I think there's like still one more area we haven't discovered yet. Oh, I found it. Hey, look at the little butterflies. A deep blue stone atop a dais. I can't get in here. I guess not. Huh, stone can't dream, Oscar. Well, I'm sorry. I'm trying to cover my bases here. I think I neither can dead things, so. Well, can we go further this way? I'm... Check your map. I'm going to check. No, this was a dead end. Yeah. There's gotta be something here, though. I think it's... Nope. Later. It has to be. Not really. Doesn't have to be anything there. Yeah. Clearly, though, this is something uh, that... That is like Ubisoft, you know, 21st, <laughs> 21st... 2018 game design. Oh, there's an area. We have to put stuff in it. I mean... Technically, yes, you should. That's basic game design. Well, not, I mean... I mean, no, that's, that's, that's not necessarily basic game design. I feel like that's something that just oh. is like, that is one way to do a game that is sort of like overtaken and become everything. You know what I mean? Maybe. there are games that do stuff like that. There Ow, are areas geez. that have nothing other than just to see what's there. Some scenery, like something that you look there and it's like, oh, you think of like what it could be. Like, I suppose, but in a Metroidvania? Why does the genre matter? Because Metroidvania, like, encourages exploration, and yeah. usually that exploration means that you gotta discover something worthwhile. Well, I mean, mate, you don't have to be rewarded with everything. I know, but I'm sorry, that place does not look like some place where it's just there for the sake of it being there. There has to be something there. Maybe. But I do like it when games sort of do that. Especially when it's a horror game, though. That's usually when it works. But again, the best. that's what I mean. Like the horror, the horror genre facilitates something like that. Yeah, I mean this area is some. This is some creepy areas. Point taken. But I mean, I think there's more to gain out of that. I feel like. I was curious. I feel like having areas like that, like where it's not, you don't necessarily get a physical reward, but maybe you get like, you get a glimpse, and and you get like lore. It's not necessarily like written lore, but like maybe like that box like you know maybe that ties back to somewhere else i don't know mm -hmm. i'm like kind of grasping at straws but i don't know i like it when when games do that like you see that like you hear people talking about something and then you just see there even if there's nothing there like to do right all right so it's there for you to find so for now it doesn't so it doesn't look like we can do anything else in here um, what does this thing say again? Yeah, yada yada, we... purely ascended, yada yada. So yeah. Um, let's see. 
Um, check your big map. Um, I actually know what I'm going to do. Since we now have that, uh, ability to... The, uh, Shade Cloak. Queen's Garden? Um, not the Queen's Garden. There was somewhere else I wanted to check in regards to this ability, and it's back at the Deep Nest. Oh, fun. In, in fact... Um, well, we are right, this. we are right near the tram that will allow us to go to exactly where I want to. Uh, what is this? Wait, did we see this before? Oh yeah, this was the, uh, this was the fountain. Oh, it was. Okay, nothing yet. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and keep, uh, donating to that fountain in hopes of something eventually happening. I hope it does. Alright, let's see. Donate to the Church of Unitology. <laughs> Funny. Alright, so here we go. Bug Buckology. And. Yep, this is exactly where I want to go. Something's about there. Yep, you see it, right? Uh huh. Is there anywhere else, though, that we could explore here as well? Doesn't look like it. Not quite, no. We could go We could go up to the north and, like, uh, find the Queen's Garden as well. Or, like, explore the Queen's Garden, because that's another place we have yet to truly, like, comb through. Yeah, we haven't. And I think there's one, area, one other area we haven't really been to at all. Uh, which would be what? The area where all the bees are. Oh yeah, no, that's a uh, that's a uh, in the uh, that's in the uh, in the uh, kingdom's edge. Yeah, we haven't, but we haven't really explored through there yet. Yeah, no, I did. I did uh, hear that uh, we should take uh, the tram to the to the. Uh, uh, we should take the tram to uh, the um, kingdom's edge because apparently that place is like only accessible through. Oh, I completely passed where I was supposed to go. Sorry. Rip. Um, there is an area in the Kingdom's Edge that is only accessible through the tram. Oh. So that's definitely something else we gotta do as well. And since we're near the tram, we can also do that as well while we're at it. Here we go. Now, please tell me. Yeah. Yup! Oh, these things. We haven't seen these in a while. Yeah, we haven't. Oh, that is awesome. Ow. Yeah, this is pretty nice. You can do that. Yep. Okay, so we can uh, go ahead and explore a little more. Yeah, they clearly meant for you to do this with the Shade Cloak. Yeah. I mean, unless you want to take a bunch of damage. Mm hmm. Did you just try and jump over him in the time? Um, no, like, I kind of panicked because uh, my thing didn't recover quickly enough. Uh... What do we got here? The Sharp Shadow. That's what I wanted. That's the item I was looking for. Oh, really? Sharp Shadow. Contains a forbidden spell that transforms shadows into deadly weapons. When using Shadow Dash, the bear's body will sharpen and damage enemies. Okay. I guess it's not a combo, then. Huh, I thought it was a combo. Oh, and that's what unlocks that area. Okay, cool. Alright, so there we go. We got the Sharp Shadow. Um, it's another thing worth that... Worth it. Uh, another thing that... Yeah, that's definitely worth it. Alright, I'm gonna head back to, um... I'm gonna head back to the tram and uh, see what the kingdom's what that thing about the kingdom's edge is all about. We're nearby, so we don't really need to skip. Goodness gracious! Yeah, this game is just getting more and more intriguing the more we dive into it. I don't know, like, is the is the shade cloak the item that? Um, Hornet wanted us to get, or is there something no, else? No, it was the brand. Oh, the king's the king's brand. Mm -hmm. Okay, I get it. Then in that case, if we go back and fight the, uh, we fight the uh, the Hollow Knight, will that uh, give us something else? Huh. I believe I believe so. No, this actually takes us back to where. Check out the full map. If you can. Okay. Uh, here we go. We're back at the Kingdom's Edge. Okay. Oh, I see. There's an area to the north. Let's go down. 
Um, There's no. the abyss. Head up, up, more, mm, more. No, uh, left, and down. There's got to be another area. Hmm. You've seen a lot of this world. Yeah. Look how far we've come. Yeah, right? <laughs> oh, I see an area. Oh, yeah, again, the Queen's, the Queen's Garden. Gardens, yeah. Um, there's no easy way to access the Queen's Garden unless we go to the Queen's Station. Yeah. Um, let me see the map. Wait, wait. Here. Wait, go, go back out again. Zoom out again. Uh-huh. See that? What's that up there? Like, see how it's like, I don't know. I feel like we haven't been up there at all. I think there might be You know be what? Since we're here, we might as well go check it out. Um, we got a little bit of time that we can go check this out, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Um, yeah, the Coliseum of Fools is something that, um, we also have yet to, uh, truly explore. Mm -hmm. So I'm willing to go ahead and give that the, uh, time of day. A geocache that we never, re that we never hit. That's buzzing. Hmm. You don't quite replicate the. Oop. So it makes me think more like mosquitoes than bees. A little bit, yeah. I'm not a fan of those. So interesting um, thing, kind of unrelated, but yeah. I remember. Um, for, what, for whatever reason, I was looking this kind of stuff up, but, um, there was, um, I was looking up, like, zombie outbreaks and, like, the feasibility of what would actually happen. Yeah. Um, so most, um, most of the ideas of, like, a zombie outbreak would be, like, Bloodborne. Uh-huh. Um, so an interesting thing is if you're in an area where there's mosquitoes, you're basically screwed. Really? Because the mosquitoes can, the mosquitoes will, um, they'll, like, you know, bite a zombie contract the disease and spread it to a human by biting you and that's oh. not something that's really easy to prevent like Ooh. like i mean there's still like a good chance even if you use like nets and stuff like that like mosquitoes will get there because you know how you just get bug bites like and it's oh we didn't explore nowhere. this area Ooh. oh okay no, this is the shortcut from the uh, kingdom's edge but aha What else do we have here? All Okay, so much for the Coliseum of Fools. We got oh, something else maybe here. This is what I was thinking of. What's this? Yeah, this is a new Whoa. area. Whoa! This area's pretty. Hey, look a little baby. Yep. There you go, buddy. All right, so new area. Yeah, um, how do we get through it? Because we don't really, I don't really see a way we can get in. Yeah, neither do I. Let's give it a good look. And check your map too while you're at it, because we might be able to find another way in. No, this has got, this is like the only way in. There's a way over to the left, but I, I don't know. So. Well, or it could be one of those things where, like, the map just does not accurately. Because I've noticed that's happened a couple times where the map just does not correctly display the game. Okay, so we can't do that. I think we're on the right track. Hmm. If I can find a, uh, if I can find a, a bench, I should be able to figure it out. Start swimming left or right at the bottom. Yeah, no, I'm not finding it. Hmm. Okay. While I'm at it, I'm actually going to go towards that bench uh, to the right, but I'm also going to explore an area that we haven't gone to yet.
There we go. Oh no, there. I, I know how to get in there now. Oh really? Yeah. Sorry, I looked it up. <laughs> it's fine. It's it's better than us just like. It's better than us just like uh, running around with chick like chickens with our heads cut off. Yeah. Especially now as we're like nearing more to the hey look we actually gotta find everything. Yeah, phase. like we we beat the final boss. We know what the deal is, and now we can access the other two endings. But that's going to involve some work. It is in the other direction if you do want to go into the hive. All right, I do want to explore one last thing though. Okay. Oh, thought you were dead. Uh, up there. Uh, okay. Aha! Found it. So, what is in here? Oh, a hey. dream battle. You have come a long way just to die here at the edge of the world. Markoth. Markoth, huh? No, do not speak. I have heard thousands and thousands of empty words from those like you. Your pride, your desires, your desperation. You will take these things with you once I strike you down. Raise your weapon then, and die like those who came before you. Here we go. Huh. He's got a dream shield. Yes. And, and, oh, and if you touch it, it hurts you. Ooh. Those are not the easiest thing to see. Bill, I'm actually having a lot of trouble even just watching you seeing those spears. They like really blend into the color of the background. Just gotta keep moving. Oh, that's easy. Oh, it comes back a little bit, though. Mm -hmm. Okay, at least got the uh, health off. Okay, no, I can't uh, recover so long as he's firing those shots at me. Okay, now. Don't get greedy. at least. Oh, nice, two of them. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, this is getting harder. Oh, and he moves them at different frequencies, too. At different speeds? Oh, that's annoying. Okay, I just needed to get a few hits in so I can recover some health. Hits in. Sorrow. You could say this guy's quite a spirit. God damn it. <laughs> I'm not gonna get an opportunity here. It's too risky. You don't really have much of an opportunity to get close to even hit him. Ah! Alright. Gonna go ahead and try that again, so we'll be back in a bit, guys.
Alright, I gotta get my shade before I deal with you. There we go. Second verse, same as the first. I hope not. Well, yeah. Had in mind. <laughs> Ready, box. Okay, yeah, I'm doing worse now. Got plenty of soul to go around, though, so I just need to. I just need a moment to recover. Ah. Yeah, I re-equipped the sports room. I took all I took off the uh, nail master's uh charm. Defeated in combat. I can see myself there, still sleeping. How long have I been hidden here? Here at the edge of the world, no one could find me. Except you. Warriors, knights, kings, even time itself. They have no power over me. Only you. Technically, you're all three of those things now. <laughs> yeah? You are the darkness. Come to consume me. Ah, I get it, because we can't access him unless we have the Shade Cloak! Hmm. And that's another 200. 250, maybe? Uh, oh. we... Okay, so that's I... It. Wow, is that really all there was here? Huh, well that's a little disappointing. All right, I'm going to go ahead to uh, a bench, and I think we can go ahead and call it an episode, because yep. um, next time, I'm going to let you explore whatever was going on in that hive. I have no idea what's in there. Buzzy box. Well, buzz, buzzy box, really? Buzzy box. Buzzy box. Oh, box. It's a buzzy box. Yeah. Well, from the look of the map, it's just, yeah, it's literally a box. <laughs> That's it. Well, there's more to it in there than, than meets the eye, so we're definitely going to have to look around for that. But for now, thank you guys for joining us for this episode of Let's Play Hollow Knight. I am the Green Scorpion. I'm Pat. And in the next episode, I forgot about this thing. Um, we're going to go ahead and, uh, well, basically just explore the hive, among other things. We now have the King's Mark, so that's definitely going to help in uh, a few things. And the Shade Cloak definitely is, uh, unlocks a few areas for us. So... See you guys next time.